Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elm Creek here in Farming Simulator 22. I have got pallets of stuff outside my greenhouses. That's because I decided to go back to storing stuff because we're going to sell it locally. I do remember that now in the last episode. Um, I should probably also have um, honey. I do have honey. Look at the honey. Right. We'll uh, just do a, a quick auto load of that. Bingo, bango, bongo. That's that auto loaded. We'll take that off and get that sold pretty soon as well. Along with our produce. Uh, I'm going to have a quick run over to our... Our, our, our grass field because I did finish that field off yesterday I know I said I was going to do the baling and all that on camera I decided uh, I didn't want to do it on camera so some of the baling has been done in fact I think all of it's been done and I've just got the equipment to put away at some point corn is growing very nice now, do we have to roll this? Grass is growing. Hmm. There's our baler. Take this, park it up. And we'll come back for some more. So that was the uh, 6R that was doing the bailing. We might let the 6R do the grass rolling. No, we won't. Uh, yes, we will we, won't we? No. The 6R will do the fertilising of the grass for me. Have to find somewhere a bit easier. I may have to look at removing that shed building. I may have to see if it'll let me just remove that shed without deleting anything else. Um, because it would be nice to have something a bit more practical there, I think, in the long run. Right, you are going to need some fertilizer because you've only got six liters, 816 liters left. So we need to load that up. That's all my money gone. Ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. The best make some produce, I think. Can I take these ones too? Oh, I can. I can take all of them, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Something's disconnected from my computer again. <laughs> Something always does that during um, farm sim now for some reason. Uh, let's have a look then. Can we sell any of this stuff at my farm shops? We know we can do the honey. 
at our restaurant and also our farm shop. Restaurant's paying the best price for the honey. And if we was to look down at lettuces and stuff, uh, farmer's market. It's touch and go, really. This tracks are struggling with the weight on this trailer. But the diddly squat farm shop lives. Okay, trailer's moving on its own, folks. <clears throat> yeah, we sold some to the um, restaurant as well. Spot on. Nice 20 grand. Delivering a few vegetables and um, some honey. Now about to buy some more fertilizer. The farm shop lives. technically think I should switch uh, and now I've just put the fertilizer on the 6R but this guy's got the skinny tires so um, there we go filled Drop that down. Move out of the way. Six R is gonna uh, the, this one here. A six M. Because what we're going to do, we're going to fertilise the field all by the railway line. Because that's only at a single dose. Um, that, yeah, that's only had a single dose of fertiliser, look. So that needs a, a second dose. I need to get the rest of the bales shifted and the 7R off the grass field. Then we need to roll the grass field. And 
And with the grass rolled, we can then fertilize that when this guy is finished. This guy won't take very long at all to do this field. So we've made 20 grand today, near enough. Um, maybe our uh, farm shop enterprise would be very nice. Uh, if that can make that every single day. go driving along the field quite nicely over all the bumps and lumps Probably need to then look at maybe some contracting today. If there's any good contracting jobs. Pay as well. Just a bit in the middle. Let's go this way. And that puts all the fertilizer down that we need for this field. But yeah, the little 6M tractor is great for doing the fertilizing. Because it's got the it's got the crop friendly wheels. Now it must wait. This field needs to be rolled. Right, 8R. You've got bales. Which would be very useful to have up near the sheep pen. Ready for when we start doing the sheeps. So when we start doing the sheeps, you need to have sheep pens. Um... over here right i'm starting to notice as well a little bit of an issue with my game controller i might need to get another game controller a new game controller soon i'm noticing this one keeps tending to stick to the the right whenever i turn to the right it tends to stick there
There we go. JD. Ooh. Let's let that fold up, shall we? Before we get carried away. <laughs> there look it's stuck to the right I don't think it's anything in my settings that's causing that I definitely think it's um I reckon it's a controller my controller the left sticks playing up We'll leave that. Unless it's the steering back speed thing. Maybe that was the setting I needed to change. See, I'm running out of places where I want to store stuff. Then it's not going to be in the way. That's my tether. Ain't got front weight on the front of this. must go and retrieve that. I think it's down at the main farm. That's still pulling left. Pulling to the right, even though I've... Oh. Weird. Must be a controller thing. I've either got to try and recalibrate my... See, I tried to increase the um, dead zone on the controller, but that just seemed to break everything. Is that the front weight for this? 1800. Must be. Must be. Right. Whilst I've got the 7R selected, which is a fairly, you know decent powered tractor and have a look at contract cultivating field 70 for 12,000 bucks could do sowing field 32 for 14,000 bucks but that would require me to be buying seed Plowing field 38, nine grand. Let me take that cultivating contract there. There's a couple of fertilizing contracts I could put the little fella onto. Well, do some, make some money. Empty. Do I have. Do I still have a cedar? The answer to that is no, I do not have a cedar of my own. Okay. In which case, then, we will not be doing <laughs> a sewing contract. Where did I park my cultivator?
对。Right, so we've accepted field 70, which is pack of tricks. Big one just down the field, just down the road here. Not to worry. Oh, there goes a road sign. the grass field, 71. Into field 17. Now I'm going to do this with course play. No course is loaded. Okay. Great job. Course play field work. Here is point. Target position. We're going to give him that. Uh, there. Open the field. Working width. We're going to bring that down to 11 and a half. Headland corner smooth. Round sharp smooth. Number of headlands. Let's do. Five headland direction is going to be counterclockwise. Headland overlap ten percent. No start direction. Start working on headlands. Let's generate the course. Close the settings. Right, and now we've got to pick the start point. So we start point now, and it is actually going to be only. Uh, start job. And he'll drive over there and do that for me. He's going to drive to that point that I've set. Then he's going to go to the first point. It's going to unfold. I ought to name this work a Forrest Gump. Because this guy's a goddamn genius. Right. We'll leave him to it. Like I say, if I'd, if I'd got the sewing contract, I'd have done the sewing. If I'd got a cedar still. He says, looking over there, what is a Great Plains planter? I've got a planter, ladies and gentlemen. Not a cedar. I bought this big thing, didn't I?
Bees tell me it has seed. It has seed, but not a lot. Bugger. Going to end up buying a ton of seed for it now. Oh, well. We'll still earn money. We'll still make good money from the contract. Two grand. Right, where was that contract then? Sewing contract. Four. Fourteen grand on field thirty-two. Nola. We'll do it. Field 32 is... Oh, the big one. Behind the shop. Big field behind the store. Fair enough. Off we go. I'm getting confused a little bit with the field numbering. Again, I've been because we've been playing I've been playing so much of Stevie's Elm Creek edit just recently. I'm not used to the field numbers going above 27. <laughs> it's like there's only 27 fields on the map now. What are you talking about? Court of eight field 17. There's no such thing. But man alive, we did um uh, potato harvesting contract. Um, no, sugar beet harvesting contract. Me and Mr. Helgi the other evening on what was a, this whole area field 68, 69 and 70 was one field. Stevie has made that one big field and it had sugar beets on it. And there was a contract to harvest sugar beets and me and Mr. Helgi did it and it took all evening. Took over, took a, took us over four hours. The two of us, both of us having harvesters, both of us having trailers um, that were being driven by the worker to the sell point. Bearing in mind, the sell point for the contract was only down here at the feed and south, so it's not like our trailers were having to go miles to sell and get rid of the sugar beets. But man, it was taking forever. I ended up harvesting about three quarters of the field because I had a roper harvester. Mr. Helgi was using the um, the contract provided machine. Um, so he was a little bit slower because his machine wasn't quite as wide as mine. So he only did about probably a quarter of the field in the same amount of time that I did like three quarters of the field. But still took us absolutely ages right you want canola planting on this massive field here and i'm going to set this guy up to work with course play too so again uh, quite early Uh, da, da, da. Right, great job, course play field work. Target position, we're going to pick this field here. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to work counterclockwise. We're going to bring in his working work down a bit. Headland overlap 10, number of headlands. I want you to do four headlands. I want you to start working on headlands. So please do that for me. Right, his starting point then is now. 
for here. Start the job. Off he goes. Course play for the win. Course play for the win. You're going to unfold. Here's look. Pulling my tractor slightly. Screenshot for the thumbnail. So he's amazing. Horseplay is amazing. Although, to be fair, he's going to wreck my equipment because this field's covered in stones. AI work is not so good on the corners of the fields. But anyway, we can't sit procrastinating like some people. We can't. <laughs> Chat out to Mr. Helgi. Um... We've got field rolling to do of our grass field. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get rolled. that lovely dark soil texture uh, the grass over here I can't pick up because technically it's outside of my field so I can't pick up that grass sadly I can't do anything about that it's not in, it's not part of the field so it will stay there forever look soil composition we are getting fertilizer we're getting free fertilizer free fertilizer from grass rolling i can live with that
So we'll let the roller boy do the trick. And then I probably don't need to use... Probably do not need to use the um, fertiliser spreader. Because he's getting the fertiliser state via the um, grass care. The grass care rolling. So if, normally you'd do this straight after mowing. Um, so you wouldn't have the... Um, Honestly, don't know why you're lifting up, mate. <laughs> Let's assign the helper. Right, we'll take this guy back to the farm then. He he he's not going to need to do any fertilising. Um, all our fields are fertilised that we own. I think I might just try very quickly to see what happens if I try and delete that shed. Is it going to break my game? Because I know some of these buildings are all linked together. Which is a tad bit annoying. Right, I've sold the barn. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I've been able to sell the fences. No, I haven't. That's got rid of everything. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the problem, folks. That's the problem. Uh Because I don't think landscaping is really going to be a big part of my future. I mean, yes, I've got the tools that make the landscaping, makes landscaping free. that I'm a bit concerned that it's going to break the roads. probably want to do is level don't we rather than soften here we probably want to soften or do we do we want to slope it do we want to slope from the target points set slope target is going to be there and then if we go from here, And then we can, we can, we can soften it. We can go with a soften tool. Like that. Oh, 
nice and smooth again. We might be able to put some stuff back in, you see. Is my thinking. And be careful not to break the road. That's not, that's, not, that's not looking too bad, that isn't. Um, got a bit more yard area now. Wait. Bit of painting needed just to remove some of this stuff. Some of the gravel. A bit more um, concrete and got a bit of obviously leafy stuff to get paint and get rid of. Um How do I get rid of that bit then? I think I had to do it with... I had to paint over it, didn't I, last time? Paint over all of this with bushes, if I remember. This is why it gets expensive. Paint over it all with bushes, like that. And then you come back in. Painting. We go what? Uh, see, we don't really have a lot of um, brush options, do we? gravel all of that well I'll probably have to do the brush uh, the bush trick again I will It's just paint. I think that all look nice and pretty. Over there. Right. 
o X. Jolly nice. Uh, painting. Gravel. There we go. Gets rid of the bushes. Job done. And there's a dog. No, it's nice. A crow. I have got a dog somewhere. <laughs> Right, that'll do us. I think. Let's move this over. We got rid of the picket fences. Which means auto drive should have less is issues now. I'm getting in and out of the field. Out of the farm. Because there's no there's no stupid fences anywhere for him to crash into. Um, it's just a shame that we've lost all the buildings. Hmm. We're going to have to put some of back in, I think. I don't know what. Hmm. This this land slopes massively. Very sloping. Um, I mean, I could put a vehicle shed on it, but... but the trouble is, I don't want to then have a, you know, steep drive down. I mean, even something like that. You know, if I put something like this down. Is that going to destroy all the, all the land? Potentially. Tell you what we'll do. We'll wait till we've got more money before we start spending sheds, people. Anyway, I've reached the end of today's episode, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please go ahead and click that like button on the video for me. Don't for forget to subscribe to the channel and enable your notification bell. Um, leave me your comments, questions, suggestions and feedback in the comment section down below and um yeah i look forward to seeing you again in the next episode of elm creek and of course how baylor on my other fs22 let's play series which i hope you're all watching as well but for now from me see waddy is take care of yourselves stay safe and goodbye <laughs>